Hi everyone, I'm Leon Jiazhe, and you can call me Adrian. I'm currently a degree semester four student, and I'm going to introduce about my design panel project, which I'm naming as Keramic Gallery, and it will use to show exhibit about different ceramic artworks, and at the same time provide different workshop activities about ceramic art. So I will start out my introduction about my design manifesto. So as you can see, my design manifesto, which is my main narrative to design the gallery, is actually decided when I saw the site. I hope to bring my gallery to, as a linkage and connection to link the existing river with the highway and also the commercial area. Thus, I wish my art gallery can make the people appreciate my art gallery, at the same time embrace the existing site and all the existing elements as well. So my chosen art for the gallery will be the ceramic art, as it has a strong relation with the local traditional art, which is the pottery art. So I hope it can increase the acceptance of the art from the older generation and reach a mutual understanding between the different generations. So uh, as water is also one of the important elements for ceramic artworks, so I hope it can create a reminder and also awareness for the visitors to appreciate about the Langa River, which is the existing river next to the site. So after the introduction to my design manifesto and art chosen, I'm going to talk about my design development. So as you can see in the first picture, I chose puzzle B to build out my gallery as it has the most central position to link the different assets from the highway and also the commercial area to the river. So I start out to build with the bubble diagram, to plan about all the space required and all of explore about each space relation. And then after the reference of the design guideline we did in the project one, I start to put in the bubble diagram within the site to explore about each of the space planning and also how to locate them inside the site. So in the, the idea exploration, it's actually showing about my few sketches that I sketched in past few weeks which that helping me to build on my draft idea that I wish to put into my design as the example, the first one, the multi-entrance, the pergola workway, the water wall, and all the different lighting ideas applied in the interior. So that is all the different idea I will bring into my design. And the below part is actually showing about my development model. So I input the space planning from the bubble diagram into the build up, the build, to build out the development model and it helps me to study and visualize about the ideas and it shows about the draft idea for me to make me clearer about what I want for my pasta design. As shown in the development model, I plan to have some rhythmic uh, facade or I will define it as a vertical fins for now. So to reduce about the direct sunlight entry as because I'm planning to design a building with multi-entrance. So I think there will be a high exposure of direct sunlight so I think the vertical pins is very good to reduce the direct sunlight entry and at the same time also create a different shading effect to the interior spaces to increase the spatial quality of each spaces of my gallery. And I will proceed to continue to talk about my case study. So firstly, my, case study, my first case study I chose for my facade design is actually the Sam Chen planning exhibition hall, which actually is quite matching with my idea intention about my facade design. So it used an undulating facade to create a more dynamic visual impact. And the flow of the facade is actually look like a molding progress of ceramic art for me. And I think it enables my art gallery to introduce itself to others about what activities and art exhibited inside the art gallery. So the case study also bring me a new ideas to use the curvy forms of the facade to determine about the entrance, to provide a more welcoming entrance to guide the visitors about where is the entrance and also using with the linkage, yeah. And the second, the second case study is actually the artificial, uh, artificial intelligence technology valley. So the building is actually using the, to exhibit the technological devices and also creation. So the building used an over outer walkway to cover up the whole building area. And the architect used a very different shape of walkway compared to the cluster blocks of building which is the cubicle form. And the architect used the different shape of the walkway compared to the custom blocks. In general space planning, the building is actually separate for different blocks based on their activities. And I love the way like the architect didn't try to avoid the negative spaces created from the different form of the walkway and the buildings, but he used the negative space wisely 
to become a more different useful experience spaces, such as the open courtyard, water pond, and also some open exhibition area. And it will provide a more flexible journey, I would say, for the visitors from the multi-entrance. So you, uh, no matter where they enter, they still can enjoy both the uh, natural, natural view and also the building throughout the different blocks of the building. And all of them actually also like connected with a walkway as well. And so I will now go to my design for my art gallery. So I will talk about the form development. So my form is actually start to develop from a L shape as it, I try to maximize the linkage for both the maximum, uh, the commercial area and the highway to the river. And I try to maximize about the exposure to the river so they can appreciate about the river and the pedestrian walkway as, at there. And I try to split the blocks into three for different activities and create more entrances. So six is actually split, so I collect those blocks with walkway access and also like uh, for walkway access. And so it will create negative spaces in between them. Um, so it's actually for me, it will become a good opportunity for me to open up the spaces to become a patio or open gallery and open exhibition hall area and also some open courtyard. So it is the building form is elevated for two stories to provide a more spaces and separate out different activities of them clearly. And then the most of the portion of the building is gonna cover up with my plaster design idea, which I will show in later. So as you can see at the right hand side, this is actually the key plan and the location plan of the bonding, which is our site. And the below one is actually my site plan. So I designed the whole site to have a concrete pavement, which that so it can it can be digged out with different size of the space and the different size of gap in, in between them to carry out different activities such as plantation and also some lighting devices installation. So my previous design pavilion also like built along the river. So they can actually using the pavilion, which is indicate the circle circular form. So they can like rest inside the pavilion as well as you can see. The building form for my art gallery is actually as a linkage to connect up the commercial area and also the highway. And all of them is actually linking with the uh, driveway and also the pedestrian walkway. So at the same time, the form actually create a wide exposure to the river and also the designer site. So it brings all the visitors to appreciate about the river side, uh, even though when they are inside the art gallery. Yeah, so I will proceed to my floor plan now. So for my ground floor plan, there is a multi-entrance and all the entrance is actually, as you can see, is actually having a linking bridge to guide them to get into my building. And there's a reflective pond like installed underneath the bridge to indicate about like uh, intention to filter out the distraction and also I'm trying to focus uh, more focus on the art gallery and focus about the artwork exhibited inside. So the journey experience for the art gallery will be stated as there is like different kind of ceramic art. So I'm trying to divide like the art gallery into few art gallery, which is the intro gallery, like brings the knowledge and info about introduction to, about ceramic art to the visitors for having a general knowledge. And some and sculpture gallery and also tableware gallery. So each of those gallery will be separated in different areas uh, at the ground floor to ensure they can enjoy a whole journey with all the different galleries. And at the same time, they have to go through all the whole buildings with the smooth pergola way so they can enjoy both. Uh, so when they try to reach um, go through all the gallery, they can also enjoy the natural view when they walk through the other buildings using the pergola walkway. So for my sec, uh, for my first floor plan, so it will be the it will mainly be the workshop area and also the workshop exhibition area, and as well as the cafeteria. I have the concern about the workshop is not an open daily activities, and so the gallery may be closed sometimes. And I so I separate up the staircase for cafeteria and also the so the visitors won't get affected. Even though the art gallery is closed, they still can enjoy a, a, enjoy the cafeteria. And there is one uh, in the middle part of the, in middle between two different workshops, that one workshop exhibition hall. 
So I hope that they can exhibit about all the workshop, the participants' artwork, like as an appreciation and the embracation for them. Like all the artworks should be, uh, will be exhibited here and appreciated. Yeah. So. So for my elevations, so as you can see in the southeast elevation, it's actually rendered in the night time. As you can see, so the undulating facade is actually like highlighted with the lighting devices. So it brings the brightness to the dark surrounding at night and the undulating facades won't get be like ignored. Even though it's at night, they still can appreciate a uh, undulating facade. Even though a uh, light, like, even though it's at night, yeah, they still can see through what's going on and also like have a look and embrace the facade design of my building. So for the southeast elevation, northeast elevation, and the north and the northwest elevation, so all the other elevation is actually showing about the layout of the facade. So as you can see, like it use a curvy extend lifted upward facade to determine about all the entrance. So because there is a multi entrance building. So, as, so it create a more flowy and more undulating facade compared to the uh, compared to the case studies. And the multi-entrance make the facade like lifted up to have a more aesthetic impact and visualization, and also a nicer external surface to the visitors. So the facade will be appreciated if like even though it's at night, and both at night and the day, they can the facade will be appreciated and as a significant highlighting point for my art gallery as well. So um, this is my section. So my section is actually cut through the sculpture gallery and also the exhibition workshop to show the appreciation. So you can see the activity inside is actually showing about the appreciation and exhibition of the artworks of the participants and also the artists. So uh, the building with the art gallery and the exhibition area is the highest in compared to the other building to indicate to be the highlighting area to be embraced to embrace the artwork. So there's also cut through the workshop area and also the office, the cafeteria, and also the lobby area. So uh, this will be the lobby area. So as you can see in front of the lobby area, it's actually showing the linking bridge and also with the reflective pond underneath it. So when you try to enter to the lobby, uh, enter the lobby, you will need to, uh, it will try, it will help to filter out the distraction and all the things and make you more focused to the art gallery and the experiences. So next, I'm going to talk about my facade details of the undulating facade. So the facade is actually constructed by using a steel, steel support system to reduce up because uh, I think the lightweight steel system is more can helping to reduce the load exerted on the beam and also the support and also to reduce the load exerted on the beam. So the material of the curvy fins, I'm trying to use with the, I'm trying to propose with hollow aluminum tubings. So the, uh, it will be support with the irregular supporter system and which is joined with the universal pin collector to, to beat with the very, not a uh, very customized and very more free, free flow of the facade detail, yeah. And the steel support will then be joined to the beam with the bolt and nuts. So it will be fixed on the beam of the buildings. And this is the facade model photo of my physical model. And I will proceed to the next one. So this one is actually showing about my nice nighttime render of the nighttime view of my building. So as you can see, like I'm thinking that uh, they were feeling unsafety due to the darkness during at night, so they won't go to the surrounding side, but I'm trying to install, I install with the lighting devices, but at the same time, they highlight the facade, facade undulating design. At the same time, it also bring the brightness to the surrounding existing sites. So they can feeling more secure, like even though at night, they can still enjoy the view through the pedestrian walkway to the river and also appreciate about the existing design in the proposed design in the existing site. So the below one is actually showing different activities and different spatial qualities of my interior spaces. So as you can see, like the introduction gallery, the exhibition entrance and the lobby area. And the pergola walkway is the, as a main linkage to provide a smooth journey. Like you can from, to, from the different gallery and lobby to access to different blocks of the other activities building. 
And as you can see, like the sculpture gallery and the workshop exhibition area. So my, my idea is to provide a more different, uh, different spatial quality and different interior space wide um, for different, to create a different visual impact to make the visitors to memorize each spaces of art gallery with their different attractive spot for them. And that's all from my presentation. Thank you.